rocking around the Christmas tree and a happy holiday. Everyone very merrily, half old fashion way. You will be the sentimental feeling when you hear one thing that's be jolly, that the halls with boughs of holly. <laughs> Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome. If you are new, it is Sherry Moulton with another Christmas video. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you enjoyed my last video. That turned out so amazing. I have two more of that same <laughs> uh, Christmas bobble. So I may do two more. We'll see. So with that being said, today I am very excited. We're going to paint with acrylics. I'm going to do a Christmas bow, bow, a branch, <laughs> and a bobble on the end. So I was kind of playing around, sketching. This is what I was playing with. Hopefully you can see it. So it's a bow and I'm gonna have a bobble. I have three small canvases that are basically almost that size. So whether we do one, two or three, I have no clue yet. But with that, I'm gonna get this crazy hat off and I'm gonna get my stuff together and I will be right back guys. I'll see you in a sec. Hello. So. I am going to painting on a, we'll start with everything here. So this is a four inch by 12 inch canvas. I bought it from Michael's. It comes in a three pack. We're going to do one today. Um, I haven't painted in so long with acrylics. So we're just going to play just in case I can't do it right. But what I did is I Googled Christmas branch with bulb and I kind of played around with that. It come up with images so then i sketched it in my little book so this is kind of what i'm going to do basically on this the ball i want it to be bigger so i might cut the tree you know maybe to about here and then focus on the ball but to start off with i want a base coat it is already gessoed so i'm going to base coat it with um this is my artist loft iridescent medium so I'm gonna get my brush oh I didn't get my water out so I'm gonna get my brush I'm just gonna pour some water in this cup so I can clean my brushes in between Woo! I was trying to pour fast and I got my foot wet <laughs> all right so that's that okay <laughs> and as much as I clean I have glitter everywhere guys so we're gonna base coat with this so I'm just gonna put it on my canvas and it is gonna be white but you see how pretty I don't know if you, that's showing through or not but it's got a shine so it's gonna be a white background with just a pretty shine oh I might as well just use my big boy this is the Royal Lang Nickel R795 from Michaels again it's a, it this one's a little pricey but I've mentioned before, you get what you pay for. And you always want to dampen your paintbrush just to give it a, um, so you're not working with a dry brush because it'll pick the paint up better. And you have to pay attention. These canvases are very concave <laughs> I don't know I'm gonna put a little more on here Ooh. I always mix this when I was doing my Dutch pours I mix this in my paints and it gave the Dutch pours a pretty little bit of a sparkle and we're gonna get the edging Perfect. And I have my push pins. I haven't taped it because I'm not really using any colors to speak of. So I am just, um, I've just got it push pinned. I do not have it taped. I'm just going to put just a little on my side. I could put this in a container, guys, and then scoop it out, but oh, I hate wasting the paint. So 
depending on what the process is, that's not good for everything, but this time it is good to... I'm going to get the other side, flip it around here, guys. And that end is done. Let's get this side. And I will put a little paint on there because it is dry. And I think I just squirted my chin with iridescent paint. I did too. That's hilarious. I go upstairs covered in just about anything. And when you're doing the edging of your canvases, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a tip. Instead of going like this, do you see how the canvas, see how the brush is on the top as well? Come like this. And you will get a nice clean edge, especially if you're doing different colors. Very nice clean edge. And then I would come back and don't go all the way to the top, but just give it a run like that. And because I goofed up there, I'm just going to make sure the top has a nice even flow. I don't know if you can see that iridescent in the brush. So it's going to be white, obviously, and it's just going to give it that little pretty, little bit of a sparkle. Now I'm going to let that dry, but before it let it dry, actually I'm going to let it dry and then I'll come back and we'll do the colors. And that way I don't feel like I'm doing it twice. And always clean your brush, guys. This one's expensive, so you want to keep them clean. All right, I'm going to put you on pause. I will blow dry this so it's dry, and I will be right back, guys. Okay, I am back. This is dry, and it is so free. I'm going to show you what it looks like plain, because I've never really painted with the iridescent medium. Look at the difference. It is shine, like, oh, isn't that pretty? If you don't want to color on something, that is gorgeous. That's going to be my go-to from now on. Except for, I'm pretty sure Artist Loft, this is old, does not sell it in the tube anymore. They sell it in a, a tub. So if you're looking for it, I'm pretty sure it's in a tub at Michael's. And do not forget to use your coupons. So with that, I'm just going to kind of sketch on what I have here. I'm just going to go by what I have here. Roughly, um, I have a bunch of little circles. And I want to make sure... <clears throat> how big I want my Christmas ball. I'm looking at these because I was using these when I was, I think this one, or maybe, oh, that's too small. I have all these little cups for different sizes. That's too big. Um, but I think this one is going to be good. So we're going to put them right there. I'm going to trace this first, and then that way I'll know where... I want to lay the rest and we're going to kind of do it offset kind of down and I've just got a pencil this is just a pencil perfect done like dinner all right so from that we are going to just start from the corner maybe a little off and I'm going to do a branch. Oh, my hand stuck there. I'm going to do just a branch down. We're going to do the main one. And that will have that hanging from it. And then I'm going to have a couple of these branches off here. And that'll have all of our greenery from it. Another one here. One more here, because this one's going to have greenery coming. So I'm just going to be doing like lines like this. I don't want to draw the lines in, but I just want to put that there and maybe one more here. So that's it. And then I'm just going to take my brush with my liner and just paint. So um, I'm going to say probably two years ago, my mother-in-law had purchased me maybe even three. This is the Peblio Studios um, kit. It came with every color um, and it was like a good, I'm going to say either four or five feet long and it had all the colors. So I, what I did is I pulled out all the greens and I pulled out the browns 
and I'm just gonna put a few in here and we're gonna play around. So let's do, so I'm gonna do a dark green and a lighter green. So we have, this one is Hooker, Hooker's Green, number 44. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put all the greens in one little spot of this tray. This is, if you're paint, paint, this is actually a pretty good tray. And I'm gonna put a bit in there because we have a few to do. And oh, my fingers just don't, the dexterity in my fingers are horrible, guys. All right, so that's Hooker's Green. And then I'm gonna put a lighter green, but I don't, let me see what this one is. How, the color. I might, I, actually, you know what? I'm just going to squirt each one of these in here. So this one is the number 42, and it is the Thalozine Warden Gun. Oh, my Lord, Lifton. There we go. So I'm just going to put that beside here. Those are the darker ones. This one is called number 43. I'll list them with the colors and the numbers when we leave when we leave here. So this one is and there's Cadium Hue Green. And there's like four languages on there, so I'm a little special, guys. And it's actually it's quite a bit lighter. There's not much of a difference in between. Look at that. So I'll mix them together. We'll do some combinations. And, and then we'll put this one on here. This one is the iridescent blue green. I don't know if I want. No, I don't want that in there. I want the snow, sorry, the ornament to be the focus of attention. So I'm not going to put that in there. So those are those three. And the browns, I'm going to use. This one is a dark one. This one is Burnt Umber, number 29. The Burnt Umber, 29. We'll put that. Actually, we'll just put them all in the same little. And then we'll do a lighter one. We'll see what this one looks like when I open it. Yeah. So, oh, wow. This one is Red Drone, number 34. Is that Red Drone? Maybe you can read it better than me. I'm bad because I'm even, I take pictures and I, on my cell phone and I zoom them up so I can see. <laughs> and we'll put one more that's in between. Let's do this one. This one looks a little lighter. And this one is Raw Umber. A raw, raw sienna. Raw sienna, and it is number 36 in that little thing. Yeah, that's more kind of what I was looking for. Again, you don't need a lot of these guys. You just need to base one and then highlight a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of black just in case I need it. And we'll put that over here. And that one was number 26 and it was called Mars Black. Mars Black. Okay, so those are my colors I'm using. These we don't need. And with my, um, might as well put it on here too. So with my Christmas ball, I want it to be red. So I have, this one is from, I. Didn't have a, didn't really see a red that I liked in my little batch of the um, Peblios. So this one is Tri Art. Like I said, the Tri Art Liquid Glass Company, the Tri Art Company itself, makes the most amazing and highly pigmented paints. I can't believe. I tell you guys, if you have the money, these are very expensive. They have some of them that are this size that are thirty dollars a bottle. So I'm telling you, if, if you want to experiment and you have a little bit of money, <laughs> they are really, really, really good. 
So I'm just going to put that here. Because I thought I'd base coat it red. And then we we're going to come in and maybe put some glitter or maybe even some sea beads or something on there as well. And on the at maybe some of it on the trees. Maybe not. We'll see. I have this glitter snow. I've had this forever. This is from Eileen glitter snow and it's kind of like a paste and you just kind of dab it on so you would just kind of dab it on with a brush the lid's hard but the the actual stuff is good so with that let's just get into this um my brushes i'm using all dollar store brushes today <clears throat> we'll see what i've got in here i'm gonna start with so this one is a crafter's choice. Oh, this is Royal and Lang Nickel. This is a number eight and it is a round brush. So I'm going to wet it again. And we're going to come in with the branches. Okay. So I'm going to start with the, the dark. You want to roll your brush to make sure you get it nice you want to fill it first of all you want to load it really nice and then you want to roll your brush as you're at the end so you have a the tip is there i'm going to take this on my side and start here so your arm is not going in it and i'm just gonna roughly paint myself a stem And load as you need. Oh, see, I pulled way too much paint out. It's been a long time since I've painted. <laughs> and I just want to make sure I've got full coverage of this color. And then we'll come back in with... The highlight color. I'm trying to keep it thinner, but it's my brush isn't uh, cooperating. I'm going to roll it at the end, see if I can get that tip again. And then we're going to go right about to there. And then I'm going to bring it out here. And these ones, I don't want them to be... I'm going to switch to a finer brush. Rinse it out and let it dry. Um, I'll try this one. It's, it's thinner, it's longer. And this one is uh, nothing on it. <laughs> it's more like a liner brush. And when you wet your paint a little bit, you will end up getting a finer line. Oh my. That one ain't working. Let's stay with the Lang Nickel and see if I can find a better one. Sorry, guys. My issue is I have too many. I'm just going to use the same one. I'm just going to water the paint, maybe. I have um, too many sets going on, so I'm just going to water my paint down a little, just a little, to give it, make it a little thin. So I can get a thinner line. And come up light on the brush at the end. Like you can come down near the base, but
but as you want it to be thinner, bring your brush up, like lift it up. I want to make sure I've got my, yeah, so there we go. So that's kind of the branches. And then we'll come in again. This is not, I have not painted in so long, guys. With, um, especially acrylics, we'll see. And then we'll try a little bit of this red one. Maybe we'll mix a couple together and I'll add a little water. Just to thin it out a little bit. See, I added way too much paint. <clears throat> and then all I'm gonna do is come in and just draw little lines, if I can. Just little highlights. Give a little bit of a different color. I don't know. I think that's good. I'm like I said, I don't want to go too fussy about that, guys. I want it to be simple. I want it to be fun so you guys can do this. Um, I need to find a different sized. Let's see if I can use this one. Again, this is just a dollar store one, guys. I'm just wetting the brush. And we're going to come in with the, the darker. Ah, let's go with this guy. Load. And I'm going to add, like, I'm adding water because I want it to... With these type of brushes, if you want it to be thin, you kind of want to add a little water. So what I'm going to do is just, as you can see on my thing, I was just making little strokes and we just want to go like this. It doesn't have to be anything extravagant. That's kind of what we're going to do. Okay, I'm missing paint there, but it, it, it is what it is, guys. It doesn't have to be perfect. So let's load it up again. Now that I showed you, I'm going to mix these two together. Bring it to a point. And remember, this might not be dry, the green. So we're just going to come from here and just go. Just downward strokes. There we go. Let's go through and we'll do all, well, maybe just we'll, hmm. I'm not sure if I like that dark brown there that I did. Let's do a little of the other one just by itself. Let's just see if what we can get for a color in here. So I've just mixed the medium colored one and I'm used to trying to bring it to a point. Roll your brush and I'm just gonna in and try and do this brush is not very good at all let me get into my really good paint brushes here guys I'm sorry these are my 20 some year old brushes <laughs> um, let me get this one here is a good one this is a, a number one liner, and I'm just going to wet it. You want it nice and a long one, because that'll give you a nice strokes to come through. Let me just, and for it to look nice, you, the liner, sometimes you tend to add water to them. Let me leave that one. Let's go. I guess I need to move this, because it's kind of in my way. Let's try this one. Yeah, you get a little bit of a thinner. And with the liners, you have to load paint more frequently than you would the other ones. And roll it to get that. And when you lay 
it down you get that thicker line right so I always like to water it down just a little bit and you roll it I don't know if you can see me but you roll the There, you get a little more of a... And you can't get much out of it. Like, like I said, you really have to, with these liners, you really have to keep loading up the brush. We'll do this color and then we'll come back in and do the other. See, it doesn't even let me do... And just, you know, flick the wrist. I guess it doesn't have to be 100%, guys. And just keep adding a little bit more water. We'll, start, we'll turn a little bit this way and do these ones. One. I like that one that turned out pretty good. So we'll do this main color and then we'll come in and do some lightening and darkening. This one I want to make sure I do it nice because this is the one that's near the water. Perfect. Now I'm going to come in with some of just the darker. <clears throat> I'm going to get this. Maybe add a little bit of black to it just to give it a little. Yeah, roll it. And let's see if it works. I'll try it on the one up here. And I'm trying to kind of cover the <laughs> the brown near the the needles. I don't want the brown to look so stark.
Actually, that's not bad. Sometimes you're more critical of your things than you should be. You need to step back and look at it, is what I find. I'm doing more of the black and get in here and do this bottom one. And don't go over top the ones you did. You can go around and make sure that you're kind of making it thick. Perfect. Might do a little more in this one with the dark. lighter one and let's just mix I'm moving it down mix this way let's just see what it looks like make it thin. that way you've kind of got a highlight a main color trying to kind of cover I want to cover that the brown I don't like the brown oops I want to make sure that's pointy straight up and down I might do is just try to come down there I think that's better where the green starts to come I'm covering <laughs> the brown because I really don't like this just it being very stark so I'm just taking the branch that I so the brown is there but it's very muted There, I think that's better. Let me just get this one here. There, perfect. Let's get a little more water and we'll do the bottom one. Nice to have more than just one color. There, I don't think that's too bad. Not too shabby for not painting for so long. <laughs> All right, so let's get this. I'm gonna flip it this way so I can get that cleaned. And actually, this isn't even an old one. This is a different one. I don't know where that one come from. All right, so let me get my red and we're gonna get um get our filberts brush here actually I'm gonna use an angle brush this is an oldie this is a um folk art angler shader half inch I'm going to wet it and we're going to get into the red. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just a base coat. Like, look at that red. That is a beautiful color. And I'm going to keep it, see how it's angled? I'm going to keep the pointy end along the ball. And just lay it flat. And 
and try to cover the line. And I can pick up more paint. Make sure it's really loaded. Trying to work a little quick because it's starting to, it'll dry quick. It's dry over there already, so I'm gonna have to move a little quicker. I'm trying to flatten out what's in the brush and bring it to the end. I don't know if that makes sense, but you see how there's a lot of paint in the center part of my brush. See, there's a lot of paint in the center part. You can flatten your brush like that, do both sides, and then take that paint and bring it up. Let me just stare. So that you get a nice clean edge. There we go. And then just try to even out what you got there. You might come in with a second coat and let that dry. Perfect. I'm just going to rinse the brush and then I will come in with a second coat. I'm not sure about the greens. They're so bright, eh? But that's all right. We're going to leave it. I ain't going to fuss anymore with that. I am going to do the... Actually, we're going to... You can use paint, but I'm going to use a Sharpie with the, to bring down my, I don't want to use that. I had a fine tipped one here. Let me see. This one will work, but I'm going to wait until I finish that. I'm going to use my gold, oh, get back here marker to do a a little top to the um, Christmas ball. This is my chrome pen. So I'm going to wait till that's dry. I'm just going to give it a blow dry. Let it dry. I'll do a second coat and then I'll be back when I have to have when I have the second coat done. I'll be right back guys. Okay, so I actually did three little coats, I, and it's going to be covered, but I just thought it would be nice to have a nice, big, juicy red base to it. So with that, I'm going to start with the gold pen, and I'm trying to think, do I want to go there with my string, or do I want my string to come up to here? Is what I'm wondering. So what I'm gonna do, as I learned from the other day, prime your <laughs> thing off to the side before you get going. I want to kind of find the middle of my, and I am just gonna kind of make 
a rectangle on top of this. I don't want to go into the red at all. I want it to be on top. So let's go here. I'm sorry guys, I'm just going to pick it up to see. I think that is good. That looks kind of even. I'm just going to make it a little bigger. Even it out. There. I think that looks pretty good. And again, this is the chrome pen. It is from Let's Resin. And let me find a stippler in this. What I'm going to do is bring my pen. This is a, it is a 0 0.40. It is a gel pen from the dollar store. Okay, and that's what I'm going to use to draw the line. You can use the black paint. And I thought I would bring it. We're going to bring it to this one. And what I'm thinking, I might, ooh, that was weird. I might come back in and just do a couple lines over top of the, um, the string. So I'm just going to take my green. Oh, and we used the smaller one, didn't we? Let's do this. Oh, we used the one and I put it away. It is over here. There it is. And I'm going to just put a couple... Whoa. Let me get a piece of paper towel and wipe that up. Look at that. <laughs> Save the day. As you can see, my water was not clean. It had a little bit of red. So I'm just gonna come in here with a mixture, a little bit of the black, a little water over there, just to make it flow. Bring it to a point. All right. And then we'll just Now I can do a little bit over the, ooh, the actual um, there. Perfect. I know the gold got stuck out there. Not too worried. Because again, like I said, we are getting, I'm just going to leave all these so I can wash them. We are going to leave them to dry but I want to put some snow. Maybe we can put some snow. Let's see. I haven't used textured snow in so long. This is a, they call a stippler brush. And it is meant to, like it's rough and tough. It's not a very fine. This one is angled. And I'm just gonna, like this is like paste, right? And I'm gonna play with it on my paper for a second before I go on here. Yeah. Do you see how it's stippling? Okay, perfect. And it's glittered snow. <laughs> so I'm gonna face it to me on an angle and I'm gonna put some on the tips. Cross your fingers. Wish me luck. And 
and the, the not as hard as you pounce, the more the textured it would be. I don't know if that makes sense. And again, this might just be ruining it. <laughs> we'll see. Do you see how I did a big blob there? We'll see how it turns out. And you guys got more tips you can give me? Go ahead. That would be wonderful. I'm just whipping it off there. I think I'm going to leave it at that. I don't want to go too crazy with it. <laughs> we'll see. So again, that was... Oh, it's a weather, resi weather resistant. You can leave this outside. But this is Aileen's Glitter Snow. Textured. So we'll see how that was. All right. Now, I'm going to take the blow dryer, make sure everything is dry, because we are going to use... I found my little tub. This is all the little extras that I use when I shake off my bling blings. So this is a red dyed um, Ashland decorative uh, glass filler with the red alcohol ink. So I thought we'd do that. And I have some of, this is Laura's um, sparkling red wine. So I thought we would do that. Now this is dry, but I'm gonna make sure this is all dry because actually, you know what, I should be fine because I'm going to try and keep it in that anyways. This is my Tri-Art Liquid Glass. It is a pouring medium. I love using this. It is a one-stop shop. You do not have to worry about things falling off. Um, you can use Mod Podge. You can use Elmer's glue. You can use anything as long as it is transparent, dries clear, and I think you'll be good to go. This is all gooped up from the other day, so let me just... Clean that off, and I am just going to cover this with a thin coat. And let me get, actually, I can just use the tip here. Let me just get this. And it's kind of nice because it's going to give it a raised. That's why, if you noticed, I wasn't worried about that little gold piece because it's going to be covered. And I know I probably didn't need to paint it red. But it is nice to have it. A base coat color. So I'm going just to the edge of the red paint with this. And I went over here a little, so I'm just going to try and do that. And it doesn't really matter at all. There's way too much there, but <laughs> that is what it is. I'm going to grab a little bit of a spoon and see if I can put my glass in first. So this is, again, shake off. It's got glitter in there as well. It even has brushes from my Shake Off brush. <laughs> and I can't tell you what glitters are in there, my friends, but there's glitter in there. I'm just going to put it all on there. And what shakes off, shakes off. And I'm just going to use my finger to try and 
spread out the glass evenly. I don't want it all just bowled up in the middle. Perfect. And then I'm going to take my spoon. And this glitter is chunky and fine, so you want to give it a mix. And then I'm just going to more so around the edges. I'm trying not to go too much onto the tree part because there, one scoop. All right, so I'm gonna put that away. We're gonna let that dry. And I'm debating, I might come in and I don't know, that little silver thing. <laughs> And I'm to, I don't know about the snow either. But anyways, we're going to let that dry. I always set it up with my fan, and it takes no time at all. Usually within the hour, it is dry. So I'll be right back, guys. I'll see you in a second. Hello, I am back. This is dry, so I'm going to give it a shake. I just have a piece of paper that I am putting it onto. Oh my. I'm just gonna fold that in half. I think maybe, I don't even think, oh, maybe a couple pieces of glass fell off. That was it. That, here, let me get this out of the way. I'll keep that. That looks cute. Well, I am happy with today's video. I think it turned out pretty sweet. The only thing is, I'm not overly impressed with the green color of the, <laughs> the leaves, but I think it turned out cute. I'm just getting more of the glitter away. Yeah, I think that turned out awesome. So I hope you liked today's video. Um, give it a thumbs up, give it a share, and please, if you have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing. I am so close to 100,000. That would be awesome if I could do that before the new year, but probably not, but you never know. And as always, everything I've used, I will link in the description box. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys. Love you. Bye. Look at how pretty that is. I can never find the button. <laughs>